G'day guys, Ron here from Osborne Digital Marketing. Today I'm going to discuss what is a toxic backlink and how to disavow toxic backlinks that link to your site. Let's jump straight into it. So as you can see here guys, I'm on my uh, small business consulting and uh, coaching site. This site is a couple of months old, so it's only been around for a little while, but we've started to see some really good results with it. Now we've started to notice some spammy links. So what a toxic backlink is, it's a, it's a backlink from a spammy website. It can be something about the no-nos of Google. Google doesn't like, you know, talking about anything like bad online gambling and all of that sort of stuff and, you know, adult sites and all that. Doesn't want to hear about it. Those are spammy, anything like that that's directed at a website, that's a toxic backlink. That can do a tremendous volumes of damage to your website. So I'm going to show you, we started to notice that we're achieving some great ranking results with basically no backlinks, just really good on-page SEO. And we've started to notice that for some reason, we've started to attract some bad spammy links. So this can be a black hat SEO tactic where competitors try to penalize your website because Google associates bad links with spam. And yeah, going to a website, you, you don't want that. So as an example, if we go uh, small business, coach Adelaide we've been able to rank number three for this location very very quickly so to be able to be against these guys that have been around for years it's uh very interesting so I'm not alleging that these guys have done this don't know it could be someone all the way down the bottom here that wants to get up and they're disappointed that we've knocked them out uh, for the top position but our website has been able to achieve these results you know, very quickly with minimal uh, backlinks. As you can see here, it's saying zero, <laughs> zero backlinks. So we do have a few backlinks, but it's just not registered where the other locations ha have a lot more. So what we can do is I'll show you from start to finish. So we're going to utilize SEMrush and then we're going to jump into disavowing, it, disavowing the toxic backlinks in our um, Google search console, all right? So I'll walk you through the step-by-step -step process. So now that we know what a, what a toxic backlink is, we want to remove them from our site. We don't want to be penalized. So you've got two ways of doing that. You can run a backlink audit on SEMrush, okay? And this can give you a bit of information on potential like green links, means obviously good, non-toxic, uh, four potentially toxic, and three really toxic, like we need to get rid of it. Do you rely on these tools? No, you should be doing your own research for this because some of these links, are, I promise you, they're gonna look okay to SEMrush, but to our eyes, when we witness them, I will show you that they are not good links. So if we click on the three here, these are the only three that SEMrush is saying, hey, these are possibly toxic. So I've already copied these three down onto a text file. Now, what you need to do is you need to copy all of these links onto a text file. Okay, it's very important that you uh, actually do that. So what you can do is you can hover over the information and you can go copy URL. And that's what I'm going to be doing. I've already copied these three here to try and expedite the process because I don't want you sitting around for too long. But the way that you can check it is you come onto a tool like SEMrush. I've got a link down in the description, guys, for SEMrush. It's a great tool. I uh, honestly recommend it. So what you can do is you can start to look at your links, okay? You can start to see uh, what links you have. This one, that's not great, guys. That's not what we're about. That is not what my business is about. This is not something that we want to be associated with. So we can copy the link address and we can add it to our text file. So I just have a text file, like a TXT file uh, getting created and I'm adding all of this information in there. So again, then we can come and see major report, COVID outbreak. It's not really what we're about, but perhaps it's something around businesses. So you can then go on and investigate the link further because maybe it's about businesses talking about, hey, this is impacting at the way we operate our business and then it's actually worth it. So, but, you know, chest drainage, catheters, like that's not, we're, we're not about that, guys. Like that's definitely a uh, bad and spammy link that we don't want on our site. So again, adding that 
uh, to the list. So all of these uh, need to be added to the list. I'll grab this straight from the source. And I'm just going through and I'm going to grab a couple. I won't grab all of them, so you don't need to sit here watching, but this is essentially how you do it. So you want to make sure that you're going through and you're looking at male infertility. That's that's not us at all. Like That's very weird. So anything really from this location here, this four mark, seems a bit sus. So it seems that someone's just gone on and just started linking our website to this, you know, and... And again, I can't say that it's those guys because no one knows. You, you don't. I'm not saying that. It could be anyone. But it's very important that you check this every single month because as your business starts to see results, and we see it all the time, all the time now, if we're starting to get results against people that are definitely spending money on SEO and we start to notice that where my clients are starting to outperform them, all of a sudden we start getting these spammy links. It's not very widespread, but over the years, it's definitely been increasing as a, as a tactic. So it's very important that you identify every month you're doing a, a, a toxic backlink because this can be the difference between you ranking number one or, or, or really getting hurt. Okay, so let's just basically employees tell their trick of the trades, uh, these types of things. Uh, manual do follow directory. Guys like... You have to go through, check them all out. I'm not going to uh, waste your time anymore. I'm going to file, uh, save this uh, TXT doc. So, okay. So I'm saving this as a TXT. It needs to be a TXT doc. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump over to this so this is the google search console uh disallow so basically this is where i upload all of that information okay i'll give you a link to this so as long as you've got google search console you can do this yourself um i keep all of my entities separate i don't like having multiple entities on one thing so that's why it is not linked with my uh main one so simply all you need to do is you can just go upload disavow list and let me grab the uh, list it's uploading the file now download the list okay so it's up it's up and then what you can do, like let's say, because obviously I'm going to need to go back through and the team's going to have to re replace this one out, you can hit the replace button, okay? So you can replace and add a new list, all right? So you can add, let's say, because we're going to need to, it's not only six, we've got a heap, it looked like about 10 uh, of those links. So out of the 50 links we have, there's about 10 that look really toxic. So we're going to have to go in and get them removed because we don't want Google associating my website with any of that stuff, okay? So, but guys, that's pretty much it. I'll leave a link uh, to the Google Search Console disavow so you can go straight there. It's one of the more advanced things. Do not do this. If you do not know what you're looking for, if you're not a little bit advanced with SEO, be very careful with doing this because you can disavow the wrong links. You can disavow your links. You can do crazy, crazy things with these these tools so if i've actually answered that question if i've helped you learn something from this like if you're going to go away and be able to actually remove toxic backlinks from your website please make sure you do me a small favor and hit that like button it really helps out if you have any questions at all don't be afraid to ask guys i love answering the questions just put them down below i look forward to getting to them as soon as possible and i hope you have a lovely day cheers guys